guys? Dr. Doodoo. Got some new stuff going on. Figured I'd make an update. Um, what you're looking at right here is Mr. Mom's Sister's 20 Long. Figured I'd show this real quick. It's looking pretty good. She just got some new plants from Jay Flesh. Uh, most of them are right inside of here, but she's got that big guy sticking out in the back right there. Shout out to Jay Flesh for some new plants. Uh, what I got going on, let me turn these lights out. Alright. 55, you can see it's changed up a little bit. Um, what I've got in here right now, I've got these two clown loaches getting pretty big now. I've had them for a while. Um, that glass knife fish right there, I've got five of these geos. You can see they're getting pretty big now too from the last video. Um, I've got the green phantom in here. I've got uh, L168 butterfly in here somewhere. He actually looks like he's down in there. Um, and I've also got a golden nugget. There you can see him up on top of the wood back there. But uh, in a full scale shot. It's looking pretty good. I need to scrape that back glass. I only scraped the front. But... Um, I'll probably hang on to those geos for a while until they get bigger and then end up trading those guys in. I get quite a bit of credit for those and I only paid five bucks a piece so you know how that goes. Uh, that's the 55 now. Uh, behind the 55 if I cut this light out. I, uh, switched up my 10, uh, that I was using for my feeder quarantine. Um. I have 10 Black Phantom Tetras in there. I've got a, the Mustard Spot Pleco and a Clown Pleco in there. Um, might be able to get a shot. Yeah, there's the Clown under there. I don't know where the Mustard Spot is. I might be able to get him from the back side. There's a good shot of the Tetras. For those of you that haven't seen them, you can see some of them have red on their uh, fins. Some of them don't. Um, the red ones are actually females. Uh, oh yeah, there's the, uh, the mustard spot's tail right there. You can see a couple of his spots sticking out. And uh, there's the clown right there. So that's what's going on with the tan lights back on there we go um, I guess we can show you the 75 the real news 75 it's a little cloudy right now I was talking to Jay Flesh about that I think I'm gonna pull my carbon try to get it to clear up um, it's cycled ammonia zeroed out nitrite zeroed out all the fish are doing good I've actually kinda switched it up a little bit you can see I cleared out the middle I moved the ray into this tank. Um, I've got the arowana, two hujetagar. I ended up getting rid of the three jurapari and the two needle nose gar that I had. Um, I've got both of the eels. I've got the tire track and the fire eel in here, both behind that log. Um, I've got that, my Uruguay pleco. Um, Royal Pleco right there. I've got a Rhino Pleco in here. Pretty good size. Uh, it's dark under that rock, but he's right there. And then the newest addition. Promised Jay Flesh I would get this on a video for him. Some of y'all might know what that is right there. That's a vampire fish. Pyara. Picked him up the day I traded in the uh, the Needle Nose and the Jurapari. They happen to have him. I got him for 40 bucks. He's about three and a half inches long now. Try to beef him up a little bit. Um, the arowana is getting pretty large for those of you that have seen him 
in a previous video. I mean, he's super colored up now. He's got a real nice gold tone to him. If I can get him in focus here. There he is. You got the two guard. They're also pretty big. But he's definitely putting on some size right here. Um, the Ray, he's been doing good. Uh, he's just steady eating blood worms. I've been trying to keep him well fed. Um, he didn't touch any of these feeders that I have in here now. But these guys pounded tons of them earlier. You can see they're all looking pretty fat. Um, it's the first time I've actually had the vampire fish eat. It was a little bit earlier. I'll try to get a video of him eating. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Couple new fish. Maybe get a good shot of this royal. Which it doesn't want to do. There we go. Maybe I can get a good one of the arrow here. Yeah, there you can kind of see his color. Man, I wish I'd get him to hold still so I'd get a good focus. But, yeah, that's about it. I'm out.